Yo, it's good everyone. This is AEO Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about Terrence Crawford being stripped of the IBF and Jerron Ennis being elevated to full championship status. So news broke on Thursday that Terrence Crawford was stripped of the IBF belt and that Jerron Boots Ennis was elevated as the new champion. And this was shocking news to a lot of fans. To be honest, I saw this coming. I was expecting Jerron Ennis to be elevated to full championship status by the end of this year, and I think it's a good thing. Welterweight needs some fresh blood to bring back attention and excitement to the division, and Ennis is the perfect candidate to lead this change. However, I do believe that Crawford was done dirty by the IBF and the discussions surrounding the situation are terrible. Let me explain. The reason why Crawford was stripped is because he failed to fight his mandatory, which is Ennis. But Crawford is contractually obligated to honor his rematch clause with Errol Spence since Errol Spence activated the rematch clause after losing in July. This means Crawford is only legally allowed to fight Spence next unless Spence forgoes the rematch. So Crawford didn't even have the option to fight Ennis. And the IBF knows this. What makes the situation even crazier is that the IBF never forced or threatened to strip Spence when he was the IBF champion. Spence became the IBF champion in 2017 when he beat Kell Brook and he fought his last IBF mandatory in 2018 against Carlos Ocampo. So in five years, Spence never had to fight a mandatory, but Crawford was stripped of the IBF in three months. Even Jermel, Charlo, and Canelo have yet to be forced to fight their IBF mandatories. This is a clear example of belt organizations picking their favorites, but I do wonder if Crawford's reluctance to have the rematch at 154 played a factor in this, because it was assumed that both guys would move up for the rematch, thus the belts at 147 would be vacated, therefore allowing the current interim champions to be elevated to full championship status. So maybe the IBF already had a plan to make Jerron Ennis the full champion and Crawford's reluctance got in the way. But the main issue with the situation in my opinion is the discussion surrounding this topic. You have a lot of fans saying that Crawford was ducking Ennis, which is why he got stripped but as stated previously, that is not true because Crawford is stuck in a rematch clause. It's like fans are looking for reasons to hate on Crawford and discredit him. And now you have fans calling Ennis an email champion. And I find this annoying because the email champion narrative has always been stupid to me. It's just a way to discredit and devalue a fighter, which then ultimately hurts the sport because if they're not a real champion, quote unquote, then guys are not willing to go fight them. Devin Haney is a perfect example of this until he became undisputed champion. But what annoys me the most is that Tim Zhu, who pretty much had the same thing happen to him but with the WBO, barely got criticized for being an email champion. And I'm not saying that Tim should deserve criticism or that we should call him an email champion, but people keep on comparing Haney and Ennis, but for some reason, Zhu flies under the radar. Mike Coppinger, one of the biggest boxing reporters with a large platform, goes on record and calls Ennis an email champion. Yeah, we have another of what we call an email champion now. Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis elevated <laughs> from interim champion to full <laughs> champion by the IBF. But he then do the same thing for Zhu. This is another example of how boxing fans and media pick and choose what narratives that they put on fighters. And this is the type of stuff that drives me away from boxing, which is why I haven't been dropping videos in a while. But that's besides the point. Jerron Ennis is a new IBF champion. Hopefully, this will finally bring the opportunities and attract the big names to fight Ennis because he has something to offer. Mario Barrios' trainer expressed interest in fighting Ennis and that would be a good fight. Cody Crowley apparently turned down a fight with Ennis. He was most likely going the WBC route, but Crowley now has reason to double back. And if the fight between Amanda Stanionis and Keith Thurman is still happening, then I expect them to unify with Ennis right after their fight. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more contests coming your way.